Elon Musk announced a new innovation that will completely change the space industry as we know it. Musk is preparing to introduce the new Starship version 2, which will incorporate various improvements over the current model. Elon Musk with SpaceX was working very hard for the development of this technology, and with the mind-boggling innovations that version 2 will have it was worth it. Musk also announced when SpaceX's third test will be ready, and he also surprised everyone with a new announcement of a new next-generation engine. However, according to Musk, there was so much misinformation, progress, and historical achievements that have been made with the Starship that people are not aware of. So let's explain how Elon Musk revealed the new SpaceX Starship V2. So, SpaceX recently revealed that after only two comprehensive test flights of the Starship, they are already developing significant redesigns for the rocket's second stage, leading to the creation of a version 2 of the Starship. The company aims to complete and test four to five more prototypes of the current Starship version, one before moving to the version 2 line, according to Elon Musk's statement on X. These upcoming test flights will provide valuable data for the next generation rocket. During the second integrated test flight, the Starship showcased impressive performance, reaching 150 kilometers altitude with its six Raptor engines fully operational. However, a loss of telemetry data near the end of the second stage burn led to the activation of the self-destruct mechanism. Looking ahead, SpaceX's team is set to analyze the IFT-2 flight, implement minor adjustments, and aim for a near-orbital flight with IFT-3, likely employing Booster 10 and Starship 28. Musk anticipates the hardware to be flight-ready from three to four weeks, Adding a touch of humor to the prediction, and considering various factors including Musk's timelines and astrological forecasts, there's speculation that an early 2024 launch for the next Starship could be possible. Elon Musk has announced that SpaceX is preparing for the transition to Starship version 2, which will incorporate various improvements over the current model. V2 is expected to bring advancements in terms of propellant capacity, reduced dry mass, and enhanced reliability. Despite these upgrades, the external appearance of the rocket might not change significantly. One of the changes being considered for Starship V2 is the introduction of a nine-engine configuration. This would include six vacuum-optimized engines, along with the potential addition of three more engines. However, it's still uncertain whether this configuration will be implemented in the V2 version. Starship stands at a remarkable 120 meters in height, consisting of two stages the Super Heavy Propulsion Stage with 33 engines and the Starship spacecraft itself. Its key innovation is its design for full reusability, aiming to reduce costs by allowing both stages to return and land on their launch pad. Regarding current production rates, SpaceX is manufacturing Raptor engines at the rate of one per day and constructing full-stack Starship structures at an average pace of about three per year. To boost Starship production, SpaceX plans to inaugurate a large-scale manufacturing plant called Star Factory at its Starbase facility in Texas. This facility will adopt an assembly line approach with the goal of producing 400-foot rockets at a frequency of one per week. Star Factory is set to play a pivotal role in the mass production of SpaceX's new V2 Starships. This move is part of the company's broader initiative to enhance its production capabilities, despite the somewhat repetitive use of star-themed names. As you know, the latest Starship test flight was a massive success. The newly implemented launch pad technology effectively reduced sound vibrations and lessened damage to the pad itself, a notable advancement from April's test where the Super Heavy significantly damaged its launch pad. Also, in a significant improvement from the previous test in April, all 33 Raptor engines of the Super Heavy booster remained ignited during the entirety of the initial stage's flight, unlike the earlier incident of three engine failures. The test also successfully demonstrated the hot stage separation technique, where Starship's six engines were activated while the Super Heavy was still operational. Starship then smoothly detached from Super Heavy as the latter deactivated 30 of its engines and performed its unique flip and boost back maneuver for a planned return to Earth. Starship then soared beyond the Kármán line into space, reaching approximately 90 miles above Earth before deliberately destroying itself. Now problem is that this performance of Starship and Super Heavy has prompted the need for another investigation by the Federal Aviation Administration before SpaceX can proceed with another attempt. The seven-month gap between the first and second test flights due to FAA's procedures could pose a challenge for SpaceX, especially as it works towards meeting NASA's Project Artemis deadlines. To put it into perspective, the first test flight, which was planned for a 90-minute duration, 
only managed to stay airborne for less than four minutes. The second test showed improvement, doubling the flight duration to eight minutes, albeit ending in an unplanned disassembly. From a mathematical standpoint, assuming SpaceX continues to double the duration of each test flight, but faces seven-month intervals for FAA approvals, it might require four more test flights for Starship and Super Heavy to achieve full success. This process could extend over 28 months, suggesting that a fully operational Starship system may not be ready until early 2026. Such a timeline could potentially delay SpaceX's ability to support NASA's Artemis III mission, which aims to land astronauts on the moon by December 2025. That's it for today. Subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell.